12th third grade, and today I'm going to be interviewing my heroes in art. So let's get started. Thank you for your time. You're very welcome. Thank you for your time. You're very welcome. I'm going to ask you guys some questions. Sure. Okay? You bet. Um, how long have you been a cop? I have been a police officer just over four years. How long have you been a cop? I've only been a cop for two weeks. <laughs> I'm brand new. I was a jailer before that for the city, so I've been here since 2010. What do you like the most of being a police officer? I like going out and talking to people. I like uh, educating people, letting people know that don't always know the right thing to do and guide them in the right direction. Can you share your experience about being a police officer in jail? Yeah. So, uh, being in, doing with people in jail, usually we just get people on bad days. Just because they're in jail doesn't mean they're bad people. They just made a mistake. You <laughs> correct the behavior or educating them on things not to do, and that there's consequences for your actions. How do you handle being away from your family? My family is very supportive. They're very understanding. Do you enjoy being a police officer now? I absolutely do. I get to talk with people like you. I get to talk with people in the community. Thank you, police officers. These are real heroes around me. Next, let's go meet some firemen. I'm Marshall. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you. And I'm Clayton. Hi, Clayton. Nice to meet you. Do you really enjoy your job? We absolutely love our jobs. We have absolutely. The great, we have the greatest job in the world. How long have you been a firefighter? I've been a firefighter for about five years. I've been a firefighter for over 14 years. Are you really scared when you're like in front of a building that has fire? Honestly, I mean, it, it's scary, but the fact that we're helping people, like, like that's what gets me through it. I, mean, I love helping people. We rely on our training, even though there is fear, it is scary, uh, there is a large amount of danger involved with firefighting. We rely on our, rely on our training, on our equipment, and our techniques. And Thank you. coming up and visit us at the fire station. We enjoy having you. Here are our real heroes around us. So now we're going to meet my pediatrician who has been my doctor since I was a baby. I really love her and I'm, I've been so inspired by her because I want to be a pediatrician when I grow up. So here are some questions that I asked her. Let's go see. Um, do you like being a pediatrician yes. because I want to be one when I grow up? Yeah, I really like it. I'd, I've always enjoyed working with kids and watching them grow up. It's fun. Can you show us like, some equipment that you use? Okay. Stethoscope. Obviously, listen heart and lungs. We use the flashlights. This is the ophthalmoscope. Look at your eyes, right? This is the otoscope to look at ears and mouth. Real big, right? And then the other thing sometimes we have to use here is if you don't open your mouth big enough, we get to use a stick. And then sometimes I use this to clean out ears. I have needles and stuff, but we won't go get those today. <laughs> Thank you for being my hero. Oh, you're welcome. I've enjoyed having you. <laughs> well, I just mentioned a few heroes, but there are lots of heroes around. Oh, the leader.